Hey everyone, this is Eric with LobocopServices.com coming at you with a video about how to have Python delete from a MySQL table. Yeah, uh, the other video that I did was telling you how to add new items to your table. Well, this video is on how to delete items because you're, if you keep adding them, you don't delete them. Well, you got a problem because uh, you don't, you'd have to have that ability. So that's the part of our D and CRUD. <laughs> so the create, read, update, and delete. So it's part of our delete. Anyway, so here's our example. Let's say we have these at our table here. Uh, we're having Python delete these. And again, you can come down here to the description below and you can get where this page is at. Python HTML examples. And it's on the blog. So here I'm... Um, Going down through it, I'm listing these in two columns. You'll see in another video I changed this a bit, but this is kind of to uh, describe in a primitive way uh, how you how you delete. So I want to delete anything with an ID, like my record with an ID of 30. I want to delete the ID with 31, 38, and so on and so forth. So let's say I want to delete this one, number 30. I click on it, and it should delete. So record is deleted. So I get this box up here. This is record deleted. So from the table. So I can add, add a new record by clicking on this here button. Because notice how I say edit. I don't want to do that. I want to add. And let's say <clears throat> here I'm going to add a record. Um, let Jan. Jan and she lives in uh, New Jersey. New Jersey, and I'm submitting it. And here I'm going. I should see Jan from New Jersey right here. And now I'm going to delete it because I don't want it anymore. Okay, that was an example, but. So that you get the idea of how how you do it. So what I'm doing is submitting this, and if I notice down here at the bottom in this uh, the bottom left hand corner of your screen, you can see that I have an action here. I'm sending an action parameter of delete. Here uh, to edit, I'm sending the action parameter of edit, and with the ID. So I'm sending two parameters. Before we were only sending one parameter. If I go back to uh, go back to now, I'm going to show you the rest of the code. Okay, here I'm. If I look at my code, Python has no switch statement, so I'm using if statements. And you you could do you can use the if statement. So if action equals edit, do this. If action equals delete, do that. What we're doing, we're deleting. If action equals create, uh, add a record. So I'm really tapping into that that action and finding out what that argument, passing that argument back to the page, and so I can read what the value is. And that's how I distinguish between the various cases. So if I if action is delete. I could delete value by arg. Arg is going to be the ID that I'm about to delete. Here is my function, my def. So I define my function, and I'm passing it the the argument of the ID, and then I'm going ahead and inserting. I'm doing all my stuff. Username, and password. Remember in the previous vehicle, the previous video. I put these as uh, public global global modular variables. So username, password, and DB. And then um, here's my SQL string delete from providers where provider ID equals what my with my argument is. And then cursor dot execute I'm selecting and then I'm putting my I'm printing out the bot the message here that I directory was deleted and then I close the connection. 
here is everything all in one. So I have my my tells me where my Python interpreter is at the very top. And then I'm printing down and here. I changed my title. Uh, no significant. No, well, the only significant thing with this is I changed my text title to delete. That's fine. Uh, username, password, blah, blah, blah. And then down here, the init, the init procedure is. Here is here it is again. If action equals edit, then do this. If action equals delete, that's what I'm going to do. If action equals create, I do that. So just FYI, again, delete values don't equal uh, delete values arg, and this are all you'll see this from the video I did the other day, the last video, and again. And I'm my, I'm putting all these all these procedures. I'm do using all these separate procedures kind of for organizational purposes, just so I don't have this init procedure being so long. Because I could make this super long, and I really don't want to do that. I'd rather uh, I'd rather modularize it and put it into put it into separate procedures because then I could manage it, maintain the control because I know that okay, one part of this procedure is is wrong. So it's easier to manage one, two, three, four, five, six six lines rather than like hundreds of lines. So manageability. So that is it. That is all the all the, uh, what we have in this video um make sure you go down there to the comment box if you do have a question ask it and if you don't have a question of course don't ask it and if you got value for the video go ahead and click the like button if you have any questions or if you want me to do it for you uh it'd be will to take on your project lovecompservices.com you can also come out to the domain Python and e HTML examples, blah 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 blah, and see it in see the code in action. So thanks for your attention, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.